What is going on people? It's Monday the 30th of May. I'm Matt from Liquid Loans and these are your top Pulse Chain and DeFi newsworthy updates. As we draw to the end of May, delays have pushed the Pulse Chain mainnet back and as of now, no time frame has been given or hinted at by founder Richard Hart or the developer team since rife speculation that it would launch this month caused excitement and then confusion within the community when it didn't play out as expected. What we do know as of now is that code is being rewritten for validator functions and this is being done in a different language to the Solidity code, which is what Ethereum and other EVM compatible blockchains use. And this seems to be the main factor that is causing the holdup. DeFi investors are pinning their hopes on the release of Ethereum 2.0 to bring some solace from the doom and gloom of the bear market that is laid out in this Bloomberg UK article. It states that many are hoping that the Ethereum upgrade will go live in August as once stated by Vitalik Buterin as a targeted launch and that it will give a boost to the many protocols that are built on top of the blockchain that are currently being hindered. The sentiment around the transition from a proof of work to a proof of stake chain is highly anticipated, but even Vitalik himself backtracked on his previous prediction and said the whole process could take up to six years in an interview earlier this year. It also raises the question that with so many investors eagerly waiting for ETH 2.0, how many of them are actually aware of Pulse Chain with its full system state copy and uber cheap transactions? Although Pulse Chain itself has suffered from its own set of delays, it is still thought by many to be close to launching and essentially the unofficial ETH 2.0 and may attract many DeFi investors whose patience has worn thin due to the incessant delays by the Ethereum Foundation. Bitcoin and Ethereum continue to trend in a slow downward and sideways pattern along with the rest of the blue chip cryptos in the past seven days. But in the past 24 hours, we have seen a bounce with most top 10 coins up from between 5 to 11% at the time of filming. Bitcoin is still range bound, however, in the 30K channel that it seems to be locked in for now. It seems that investors are hesitant and this is shown with the crypto fear and greed index sitting at extreme fear and many are anticipating further downward movement before the bottom is really in. This has been your DeFi and Pulse Chain update on Monday the 30th of May 2022. If you like videos like this, do hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified every time we drop new videos and content. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.